Hey guys, I'm still kind of getting used to this phone, so be aware of that. Sorry about that. Um, so, me and my son did a, a test, not a test, oh, a taste test yeah, taste. of root beers. Um, it came in a pack from Jungle Gems. We're not going to make this a super long video because I don't know how long this video is going to be recorded. So, we'll start with the first one. Uh, you can hold it. It's the original, what is it, original? Rambling. Rambling root beer. It's this one. And I thought it was okay, but... It was good. It was... I don't know, something about it was off for me. I, I wasn't a huge fan of it. But he, he, he seemed to like it pretty good. Yeah. So, so I guess if you want to try that, try that. I don't know how really they're... These are all root beers, so they all kind of taste like... Well... Root beer. Oh, just one root beer. Root beer. The next one was kind of weird. It was a uh, brownie caramel cream root beer. I'm trying. I thought that said diet for a second, but that was that one. Um, and this one was weird because, well, I have a slanted perspective on this because mine was like frozen, but even then, I still know what the flavor was because it tasted like a brownie. Mixed with root, root beer, and um, Zayden liked it. I like I like creamy drinks. That's the thing about me. Like I will drink the creamy drink if you give it to me. And it was kind of it was kind of like a brownie with kind of like a cream soda type of root beer, but it was I don't know something about it. I, I didn't really like it either. There's honestly only. One I really liked, and it's one everybody has probably had before. Um, the third one was Frosty. Oh, get up close so I can see what, what it is. Frosty root beer. And um, th it, this was, it didn't really taste, it, it tasted like root beer, yeah. but there was something different about it. I could tell there was something different about it. I know they were wet. They are sitting on our counters. So we, yes. we need to make this video because so we can throw them away. Um, but... <laughs> For us, it had something kind of different about it. Yeah. But it wasn't like, it didn't taste like, it tastes like root beer, but it didn't taste like root beer. It was a little bit something different, but not really too much. But actually, this may actually taste like cream soda a little bit. Yeah. I think, maybe. This did. I don't exactly remember everything about it, because it's been a while, it's been like a week or so since we drank them, so. And this one was a little bit sour to me for a little, for a oh, while. Oh, you thought it was sour? Yeah, and I looked at the ingredients, and it even says citric acid, so that's why it tastes a little bit sour, probably. Okay. So, this is the one that I think everybody's had, or a lot of people's had. I don't know, have you ever had this before, outside yeah, of this bottle? Maybe, bottom? I don't know. Because this is pretty, this has been, this is pretty common before. This is a caffeine-free dad's old-fashioned root beer. And even with being caffeine-free, which I think a lot of root beers are, are caffeine-free. Um, it, it was, it's pretty good. And, um, there's not more to say about it. I mean, honestly, if you like a &W root beer... And you like uh, what's the other big ones? Bargs. They're they stand right in line with Dad's root beer, and a lot of people stand by Dad's root beer as one of the best. And A and W is <clears throat> another best. You don't really hear about Bargs too much, but they're always in the restaurants. So I think a lot of people just will drink that root beer if they like root beer, and they decide to have root beer that day. And the last one. So this came in a ten pack, and yeah, there was two each. Yeah. So that's what me and him tasted them. Uh, and we did it about every day, but near the end, I, uh, Zayden got sick. Yeah. So <laughs> we had to take a little break from it. Yeah. Um, and, and then, you know, what, what's been happening and everything like that. And a lot of, uh, he's been visiting uh, spring break and everything. So we just really had not a chance to make the video yet. And a lot of stuff we can't talk about. Yeah. Or else this video <clears throat> will probably get demonetized. Yeah, okay. So this is Red Air Root Beer. This was, this was, um, Root Beer. <laughs> Yes. It so, was just root beer. It tastes like root beer. It didn't taste like anything fancy. It just tastes like you went down to the gas station and got a root beer, to be honest. Yeah. Like, it didn't taste like anything special. Yeah, it's just root beer. Yeah, it's root beer. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't know if I would recommend getting these packs at Jungle Gyms if you happen to see them, if you're in that area, or if anyone else has these. I don't know if it's exclusive to Jungle Gyms, but I would definitely pick it up if you're a fan of root beer. But if you're not, I really... Really, because I thought I was a decent fan of root beer, but after having this, I'm not quite sure if I'm a fan of root beer that much. And if you, 
And if you live, like, in Ohio, like, in that general area, like, like that near Fairfield or Cincinnati, um, you can, you can find the Jungle Gems near there. Yep, they do have, they do have them there. The Cincinnati one's smaller than the Fairfield one. Yes. Yeah. But I think it's new. Anyways. Yeah, it is new. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you've had any of these root beers, let us know what you think about them. And like, comment, subscribe, all the good jazz. Catch you guys later. Keep rocking. And, well, goodbye.